Good evening, everyone. So my next video is on the topic combined effect of the drugs. And before I start my video, I want to request you if you like this video and if it is helpful to you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, this is Dr. Nitika Pharmacology Discussion. And now I'm going to start uh, discuss with you the combined effect of drugs. Now combined effect of drugs can be in the positive way also and can be in the negative way also. Now it can be divided into four types. First is adjective, that is summation. Second is synergism. Third is potentiation. Fourth is antagonism. First of all, additive. Additive or summation. It is the uh, effect produced in the body of two drugs that will add up the two uh, effects of the drug. Means we are taking the drug, uh, the two drugs, and like the additive is like in the, as the analgesic, we give the uh, acyclofenac and paracetamol, it will produce the analgesic effect. Means 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That is, summation effect is produced. Or we can uh, give the uh, any other drug like uh, like, uh, adjective, uh, like analgesic, as I have already discussed with you, is the paracetamol and acyclofenac. And the uh, other drug like uh, any uh, convulsant we use like phenytoin and phenobarbitone or carbamazepine or valproic acid. When they use individually, they add the effect of the both the drugs and they can be used as the additive drugs in our body. Next is synergism. Synergism is 2 plus 2 is equal to 10. In pharmacology, 2 plus 2 is equal to 10 in case of synergism. That is, they produce the enhanced effect. The two drugs, when they're given, they will produce the enhanced effect. Like uh, uh, the example is the cotimoxazole. When we give, it is the combination of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole. And these drugs, when these are given individually, these are static in nature. And uh, when they're used in combination, they inhibit the bacterial polyp synthesis and uh, that tetrahydrofolic acid formation doesn't take place in our body. That leads to killing of the uh, bacterial cell. Polyp acid synthesis doesn't take place. So DNA formation doesn't take place. So a killing of the bacterial cell takes place. Trimethoprim is the static drug. And clotrimoxazole is the static drug when used in, sorry, sulfamethoxazole is the static drug when used individually. And when in combination we use, they uh, kill the bacteria. They are static in nature, societal in nature. Miss synergism means they produce 2 plus 2 is equal to 10, that is, enhanced effect is produced. Potentiation is one drug is active and the other drug is inactive. Miss 2 plus 0 is equal to 5. 2 plus 0 is equal to 5. Miss one drug is active in our body and other drug is inactive. It only acts when the other drug is given. That is the first drug is given. Only then the second drug uh, produces its effect. When it is given individually, it doesn't produce any effect. Like example is levodopa and carbidopa. Levodopa is the dopamine uh, precursor. Uh, in our body, it uh, converts the uh, levodopa gets converted uh, into the by the dopa decarboxylase into the dopamine uh, in the brain, and these levels of dopamine these uh, increase to increase the levels of levodopa in our body. Uh, there is peripheral decarboxylase, dopa decarboxylase inhibitor, which inhibit the peripheral metabolism of levodopa. So more of the levodopa enters the brain. And this carbidopa uh, is uh, inhibiting the peripheral decarboxylation and other side effects of the dopamine in the periphery. So more of the levodopa uh, enters the brain, so it can treat the Parkinsonism, leading to increase in levels of dopamine in our brain. And uh, so uh, this is the 2 plus 0 is equal to 5, that is levodopa and carbidopa produces the effect, enhanced effect in our body by the combination, even though carbidopa is inactive individually. This is the potentiation. Antagonism is like one drug is given to, another drug is given, uh, that also produces two. 
but the effect produced is less than four. Two plus two is less than four, or it is equal to three. Why? Because one drug antagonizes the action of the other drug. Like we give the morphine, it enter it is antagonized by naloxone, so the effect produces antagonism. Or like uh, acetylcholine we give, it is antagonized by atropine. So effect produces a decrease in the cholinergic activity. So that is antagonism. So this was all about the combined effect of the drugs. I hope you understood this video. And if you like this video and if it is useful to you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's talk in ethical pharmacology discussion. Thank you. Happy learning. Be happy. Be healthy. Be safe. Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you.